Tomorrow's tonight's 92%. Tomorrow, holy crap, 69%. Really hey, cold. 42 of a high, 27 degrees in the morning. Oh, and then Friday, we can test drive Friday. It says 8% chance of rain. High of 39, low of 29. We just can't and go to the track. Can't go to the track Friday. The track's too cold. All so, of our customers up north are laughing at us right now. Because we're... <laughs> dude, it's freezing. <laughs> we're out 40, here in t-shirts. 42. Hey, you're looking for Frank? He's right there. Oh, uh, I got your... Uh, My check, right? Yeah. Hey, day, baby. Woo! Huh? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You're welcome, buddy. Um, nice. We're going to do the Camaro on the street right now. Since so, weather's crazy. Yeah, we'll do the 800. What's the name? Dendy? Dendy. The, yeah, ZL1. Yeah, one -E. one -E. yeah. Dendy. I'll drive his if I can. Man, it's getting late in the day. I probably won't be able to today. If I can, I will. If not, we'll have to do it on Friday. And then, we'll, and then we can, we'll get videos of, we'll baseline this one in the morning. What's mm. this one's name? This is Pittman. Pit, that's right. What is, what's Pittman getting? Uh, He's thousand horsepower package? Yeah, thousand Whoa. horsepower, uh -huh. Magnuson. In the form of a Maggie? In the form of a Maggie. You gave me something about taxes. What, I don't know, taxes, what is that? Uh, it's a W-2. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so you oh gotta pay like, like Social Security and Medicare and everything comes out of your social check. Social Security? Like what do you mean? Like I have my own security at home. No. Like simply safe. <laughs> no. So each check they take out money and at the end of the year I gotta give you a W two. That's a first. I've never heard that before. <laughs> this dude's about to start running. <laughs> Stop it. Are you for real? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Like so yeah, so each week they take money out of your check. Uh and then at the end of the year, you just got to file how much you made that year. Because some people do 1099, they don't take taxes out. And then... <laughs> what is taxes? Though? I've never had to do taxes before. Uh, oh, shit. At the last place you never did? No. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, never. I've never hey, asked me hey, for... Hey. I'm dying right now. I don't know if he's serious or not. Dude, I mean, you guys are laughing, but I don't know. I don't know what's, what's going on. Like, what, what is that? Welcome to the night of the free. <laughs> free to pay. The free, except you free gotta to pay. <laughs> free to pay. Oh, man. So it ain't free. It ain't free. You can pay. You, Uncle Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Beautiful day, finally. Day number two of good weather. Have a good one for you today. Most of our builds are crazy, boosted, 1,000 horsepower stuff. Today we're doing a nice, naturally aspirated C7 Corvette, getting our 600 horsepower package. So, Roach's car, the one that we baselined yesterday, uh, it was low on oil when it came in. We added, I think, almost two quarts. It was so low. Baselined it. After the third pull, I thought it was rod knock. Like, I thought it spun a bearing. But Dane just got the motor out. Come look. <laughs> it's not, I mean, the bearing still might be hurt. But once you get a picture in the video to send it to the customer. Come look. That's how Dane took it apart. And you can tell, because look at how it beat up the piston. What the fuck? It, it, the car came in with a Corsa cold air only. And I don't want to blame the customer. Maybe he installed it himself and somehow dropped a mass air bolt or something in the air box on the other side of the filter. But it's weird that it just now did it when I made my dyno pull, so I don't know. I just know that that's not supposed to be anywhere in this engine. Is that crazy or what? What's crazy is someone probably spent a long time looking for that thing. <laughs> may, may, probably. <laughs> if, if it's what I think happened, like I don't know what happened. I'm just drawing you know, assumptions here. I just know that that should not be there. Look at this 
bunch of fucking guys. Get the I'm fucking work, working dude. over here? Man. Must be nice if you're fucking here because my letter got you just fucking around. Yeah. Giggling over here, dude. Uh, he's not gonna leave. I got him working for beers now, so that's good. We're cleaning out the storage. Since I didn't have a smaller box, I had the fucking ingenuity. You know? Hey, dog, no, Dan. Damn, Dan, they fucked you. They want you to uh, like drink some. Uh, Since you're always eating a banana, uh -huh. eat a banana and try to drink Sprite. Why? Yeah, what's, what's up with that? that? It's, they start puking. It's like you're not allowed. You're not. For some reason, some scientific. Sh if you eat a banana, like and then you try to fucking it to me, huh? Just try it. I'm all out of pants. I think you just want to see Danny a banana. What? <laughs> oh, you dirty <laughs> motherfucker! What? <laughs> What's Wait, the other one about there? Cinnamon or something with crackers? There's a bunch of stuff with cinnamon. I think. Yeah, you eat a whole hand, uh, a full spoon. I, you just can't swallow, swallow it. Or it. Oh yeah, yeah. Like people go. I've done, done the milk thing. Try to drink a gallon of milk in forty-five minutes. What the? has been enjoying their day so far. And hopefully this video has been somewhat entertaining. Um, now comes the fun part, at least for me. Uh, this is Mr. Roach's 2017 C7 Corvette. Came in for our 600 horsepower package, which is a naturally aspirated package. We do so many supercharged and turbo packages, a lot of force induction stuff. Um, it's nice to do an NA car every once in a while, although lately we've done quite a few C6 Z06 NA packages, so it's kind of been NA the past week and a half or so. Uh, this car came in with a Corsa cold air only, and I don't know if the customer just installed it uh, prior to bringing it to us or what, but we baselined this car and on the third dyno pull, it was low on oil when it came in. Um, we do our pre-inspection report. We look everything over to send back to the customer. One of the things was it was low on oil when it came to us. We added, I think almost two quarts of oil to it before we dynoed it. And on the third dyno pull, I think if y'all watch some of our Instagram, I think Dean made a post hearing how bad this thing sounded after the third dyno pull. I thought for sure it spun a rod bearing um, just from it being low on oil and that when we took it apart we we're gonna see a spun rod bearing and just fix it and go down the road well we got it torn apart and i'll have dean post in this video somewhere it looked like i don't even know what kind of bolt it almost looked like a a bolt that's not made for this car literally stuck on top of the piston um so obviously that was the noise we were hearing after our third dyno pull uh messed up the piston obviously uh, the cylinder had some marks in the chamber, so we had to clean that up. Um, and I think just because we had stuff laying around, we put a new piston in it, a new rod in it, and all the bearings looked fine. Um, again, took the cylinder head, uh, had to clean up the chamber a little bit. It had marks from where the bolt was hitting, obviously, for the piston into the chamber. Uh, the valve surprisingly looked okay. And yeah, then after that, we proceeded to do our which we call our 600 horsepower package, uh, which includes cold air, cam, 
uh, headers, uh, essentially just bolt-ons really. And on these platforms, it's usually around four, uh, you know, these things baseline stock, 420 to 430. I forget what this one uh, baselined, but sorry, I got a million things going through my head right now. Um, yeah, I forget what this car baselined. I don't even remember. Uh, but I do, do know we made three pulls. And after the third pull, I was nervous that the motor was hurt really bad. Um, but no, we built it, got it together on pump gas on 93 octane. Uh, I think it was around 460 something rear wheel horsepower. And in this package, we added a flex fuel sensor to it so we can run E85 as well. And I believe the final dyno numbers were 490 something. Um, I don't remember if Dean has videos of it. I'm sure he'll post it on here now. Um, but yeah, this is a perfect, uh, again, what I call weekend cruiser, uh, slash even a daily driver. Uh, it's just uh, naturally aspirated, no boost, and 500 rear wheel horsepower in a car like this. Uh, man, it's not, it's no joke for your average guy that hasn't driven a performance enhanced car before. You know, we always show all these seven, eight hundred thousand horsepower cars like it's nothing. Um, for your average person to hop in a car like that, uh, it can get away from them pretty quickly and scare them pretty quickly. A car like this, I don't want to say it's still uh, easy to drive, but it's much easier to drive. It's more easier to tame, I'd say. Um, I'm going to leave traction control on and we're going to go from second gear. Uh, it has the Pilot cups on it, um, so it probably will spin, but it shouldn't be too bad once we grab third gear. shifted into third and man it, it pulled good shifting was really good too you're here to pick up your car yes sir let's see this camera gotta watch my language <laughs> let's go i'll edit Let's you out shit falling down in the goddamn thing <laughs> what? man where the hell did that come <laughs> car man they're fun and like i said you can run 93 or e85 all right so if you go on trips you can put 93 in it do whatever you want you can mix it the computer takes care of itself everything in the tune does what it needs to do you can run fully if you want yep okay so you ain't got to worry about anything you put the more e you put in it the more horsepower it's going to make it corrects fueling all by itself and doesn't yeah. add time you can all by itself i'm happy man and it's clean cool. got, it. Washed up. got it you got me in a spot now dean i'm frozen <laughs> i don't do it with my hands <laughs> you got this. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Mr. Roach's beautiful C7 Corvette, naturally aspirated package. A little bit different from what we're used to seeing on the channel. All these boosted applications. Comment below. Let me know what you think about naturally aspirated versus boost setups. We do so many boost applications. In my opinion, you can still have a nice uh, weekend toy, weekend warrior, even a daily driver with a nice camshaft in it. Makes the perfect naturally aspirated package. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below what y'all think about NA cars versus boosted or nitrous applications. Till next time, guys. Hey, Justin.